dear community member, as we celebrate this Christmas season and as we welcome the new year, let us think about the newborn king of peace and the whole Christmas story of this great king accepting to be born into poverty. He was born in a cattle stable in a family that was not so privileged. This holiday season with its great story reminds us of what is really important and what really makes us great. The poor family of Mary and Joseph had a great role to play in the community. It was humble and it was hardworking. That was enough to raise the great king of peace. The Christmas spirit should fill us with a sense of community, a great work ethic and humility. Let's pass those values to our young generation as we share and yearn for peace in our minds, peace in our families, and peace in our communities. Let this season strengthen our appreciation of even the least among us. Those who traveled long distances according to the Bible to bring gifts to baby Jesus, they saw the blessing and the light this newborn baby brings to the world. Let us learn from them and share and also shine in Jesus' blessings. Each one of us has grown in the Christmas tradition. Growing up as a Christian, myself, this season brings to me a renewed sense of purpose and commitment and determination to go through the challenges of next year. Regardless of beliefs, the Christmas tradition unites us and shines a bright light on our common destiny. Growing up in Uganda, I've seen people of all faith celebrating Christmas. Coming to the United States, I've seen the same thing. People of all races sharing meals together, welcoming guests in their houses, sharing diverse backgrounds and learning from each other. Let us use this season to appreciate one another and carry on this spirit. We are carrying on Jesus' message indeed. And our new challenge this coming year is to make this spirit last. Let us renew therefore our commitments. At this time we should not forget those who have had it rough this year. These are fellow diaspora residents in North America and Europe during tough economic times. These are our brothers and sisters at home. We should also remember the sick, those who are not going to leave their hospital beds to celebrate Christmas with us. Let's remember those who are old, who, wants, who want us to hear their stories, but also their worries. Let's remember those who are restless, who need our advice to prevent them from falling into trouble this holiday season. Most especially, let's think about our youth, those who are growing up in our two worlds. As they yearn for gifts this holiday season, teach them how to be selfless in their expectations, how to be considerate. Let them think about the sweat that the parents have shared these tough economic times. This season of giving and joy is an opportunity to teach our young ones to grow up appreciating their parents, appreciating our roots and our good value system. Lastly, we should also support, encourage and pray for those diaspora residents who cannot travel back home to Uganda to see their families because of economic reasons and legal reasons. Let them look at the new year with hope and determination that these issues can eventually be resolved. It is with this determination and hope that many have overcome similar circumstances. Let us encourage them to find constructive and positive solutions to their problems. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. God bless the Ugandan community in the diaspora. God bless Uganda, our motherland, 
and God bless North America, the land that we have made our home. Sincerely, Francis Senoga, President, Uganda North American Association, UNAM. You know.